today I am wearing some waterproof socks because my boots that I've ordered have not arrived on time and then I'm having to wear my ripped boots but it's been raining because it's September and we haven't got the summer anymore and the dry footpaths so I've had to buy some waterproof socks to see me through today because otherwise my feet would just really rub so they're seal skin um, this is the first time I've bought any socks like this um, and I'm assuming my feet will stay dry, but I'll let you know. It's part of the workout section, isn't it? The exercise and the, and the hydration. This is from university in, in the UK. We are in Bleen Woods and we're walking six miles today, circular walk through Bleen Woods to No Man's Orchard and then back along the North Downs Way to Harble Down, just outside Canterbury. It's a little bit wet. Um, I think we're gonna encounter puddles and long grass, which I don't know if you feel the same way as me, but long grass gets wet and makes you incredibly, makes your feet incredibly wet. So that's quite a good test, isn't it? It's all about testing out the socks today. First puddle of the walk, straight through. I'm testing out some waterproof socks today. Oh. My boots have got <laughs> holes in them and my other boots didn't arrive in time. Oh, sick little these days. <laughs> oh, a bit of mud. So if you feel like the size of a normal blueberry, well that's on about uh, half to a quarter of a size. <laughs> On any Yeah, yeah. Well, along the, from, <laughs> along the canal path where I am. Long wet grass. See if it passes this test. I just stopped at No Man's Orchard for lunch break, and as you can see, my boots are very wet and my feet are dry and the socks even feel dry as well. It's like magic. I don't know how this is possible. Uh, they should be investigated, seal skinned for some hocus pocus magic work. But uh, yeah, it's very clever. So whatever material they're made out of, um, they're just not absorbing any of the water that's getting through. Uh, I'll have a check at the end of the walk to see how wet the inside of the boot is. But so far I'm very impressed, very comfortable and having a lovely walk. And that's it, back at the car, finished a six mile walk and now is the moment of truth. My feet do feel dry but I'm just curious as to how wet my boots are inside and whether the outside of the socks are wet at all so let's take a look. Okay Hannah, take care. Bye. So, my foot is pretty wet on the outside actually. Um, the actual sock um, and inside the boot you can see look can you see how wet that is there the outside of the sock is quite wet but when you take it inside out the inside is nice and dry that's very clever technology materials that they've used uh, to protect your feet so I'm very impressed with that. And there we have it. That is the end of my walk today and my review of the seal skin uh, waterproof socks. Very impressed. I couldn't quite believe that they worked. They're obviously very uh, clever technology technology materials you know what I mean I would thoroughly recommend them it actually makes me think that you can wear your boots a lot longer normally I stop wearing boots when they become um, leak when they leak uh, all the water in um, and then I chuck them out because they're just no good but actually 
I was perfectly happy wearing those boots today and it means that you get a bit more life out of them so that is good. My new boots should arrive next week so I'm going to make another video about what sort of boots I've gone for um, and the decision process because if you see my barefoot shoe or barefoot trainer video um, obviously I was in enjoying wearing those but I wasn't sure how much longer I could wear them in the wet weather so thank you very much for joining me today I hope you've had a lovely weekend wherever you are if you've got out walking that's perfect get out and explore go for a walk and be a wild native see you again soon bye